Hello YouTubers, your script is speaking. I'm going to talk to you about making uh, my Ethereum wallet, my Ether wallet, because there are so many people who have problem with it. I thought I make a tutorial so people know how to make a Ethereum wallet online. Okay, the first thing I you do, you just go to this side. Uh, see here. Be careful because there are so phishing uh, sites. Uh, whenever you go to this site, just remember to look at this and HTTPS and then the rest. Okay, so you have to be careful because there are some, as I said, there are some phishing uh, going on here on this site. So then you are sure that you are on the right uh, website. Okay, the first thing you do, you make a uh, to give yourself a password, so let's say um, password, password, password. You see, if I, if you press here, you see this the uh, password you have given. Let's say one, two, three, at. This is your password, okay? And then you say create a new wallet, okay? So, you want to create a wallet, the uh, wallet has been created and now you have to, when you want to <clears throat> get to your wallet, you have to uh, do it with different ways. First of all, you can uh, first download this one, uh, that's download, that is the key store, uh, that means anytime you want to open your wallet you have to use this file which i have here okay i'm going to give it name just let me see um, see here i give it a name i give it a name Password new. Okay. I'll give it the name uh, to, to make sure that I don't forget it. Oh, is it that? Uh, no. Okay. But I'm not going to exchange the change the. Uh, okay. You can you can change the name later on because it's a kind of file you don't want to change the extension of the file so i'm just going to give it a name here password file if you change the file name extension okay i'm not going to find okay do you remember not to change the extension of the file okay i leave it as it is you can give it another name, but don't change the extension of the file. Okay? It is. It has been uh, saved. Okay. I understand. I continue. And this is your key, your private key. You can uh, print it on the uh, paper wallet, or you can save it somewhere safe. You, I, I would do that actually. I put it on the uh, dot wordpad just let me see wordpad where is it here notepad I copy it here copy and then put it here this is your private private key. You can save this one because there are different way to get you to your wallet, either with use, using the private key or using the file that a UTC file. Okay, so the best way is to copy them on on your 
I would uh, copy them, I would save these two files in uh, USB and uh, keep it somewhere safe or maybe have two USBs and two, uh, one of them for backup and one of them the one you use uh, daily <laughs> when you want to get to your, uh, to your wallet. Okay, so I've, this is the first one that you, now you have your wallet, okay? and save your address okay and now sometimes you want to uh, get to your wallet information you can you see there are different ways in order to access your wallet okay so i say okay i want to use my private key and then i open this one copy And then I go and paste my private key here. And now my wallet is open. This is my private key and this is my address. This is the address you can use to send or uh, to receive money or receive Ethereum or receive other uh, Ethereum based products tokens and you, I do that in the other uh, uh, tutorial how to do that okay and there are some other things you see here uh, when you have some ethereum in your on your wallet what you can do <clears throat> you don't have to every time go to your wallet you can just go here uh, copy your that is your address the same as here copy an address and when you want to uh, to see the content of your uh, your wallet you don't have to use these things every, every time you just go here and then say okay token it, it trans transaction history and then you go to this side Okay, this one, you get, you have your address. You, you can put your address here, copy. And then this is your address. And then you have, if you have a token, tokens, and you see the tokens here. So you don't have to uh, use your, um, your, your key or your file. You don't have to use your private key or your file in order to get to your um, your wallet. So this is the best way. So you, this is a public public address. So you you can give it to other people and it's no problem. So everybody can see that no problem. But when you want to uh, receive um, or send money, then you have to put the uh, uh, address of other people here so I can show you for example if you want to send some send uh, send ether and tokens okay once again every time you go to this site you have to go here and to find the way that you want to get to your uh, wallet for example I want to use my uh, my key store and then it says okay the file so you press this one, you get to the file, uh, just let me see where was this here. The file, this was the file, okay, I press this one, okay, and then unlock. You see, it hasn't done it because the password, you have to use the password as well. There was a, as I'm not mistaken, was pass. Four, one, two, three, F. Unlock. Okay. You see, uh, you want to send uh, send Ethereum of token, so you have you put the address of the other person here, amount here, and you don't have to take uh, to think about the rest, and then generate transaction. Okay. That was a short video about setting up your my Ethereum wallet and 
uh, when you want, as I said before, when you want to check it, so go here and then uh, go to the site that is the site that you go to and then put your uh, address, your Ethereum address here and then you get to see how many tokens you have, how many Ethereum you have, so you don't have to each time get to your uh, wallet and you do that only when you want to uh, to send tokens and that is the only way you need your your private key and uh, store key okay if you like this video please share this video <clears throat> and I hope you like it share this video and subscribe to this channel and anytime I have a new information uh, you get a new information if you just uh, press the notification bell okay signing off sign out